So we have a few different plants here uh, that are somewhere between the V1 and the V2 growth stage. So looking at a plant like this here, basically we see the cotyledons right here. We see the fully expanded unifoliate leaves. And we see the first trifoliolate leaflet with the let edges open enough so they're not touching. But as of now, the second one here, the edges are still touching. So this one would be the V1 growth stage. And we could determine that by looking at the node number. So looking at this trifoliolate leaf, the fully expanded unifoliate leaves would be our one and only node using the Farron Cavanus method. The Pedersen method would actually count where that trifoliolate joins the plant here as node one. So this would be node one and node two for the Pedersen method. I think that's why it might be a little bit confusing as far as using the Pedersen method versus the Fair and Cavanus method. We have a plant right here that we're looking at that I would consider to be at the V2 growth stage. So again, our cotyledons are right here. We have our unifoliate node here. We have our first trifoliolate leaf here. And our second trifoliolate is starting to unfurl so that the edges aren't touching on the individual trifoliolate leaves. And so the Pedersen method would you count this as a trifoliate, one, two, so this would be V2. The Farron Cavanus method would see that this is starting to open, but would not consider this a fully developed node. We'd go down to this joint point here as our first node. So this would be node one and node two on this plant. So either way, this plant would be at the V2 growth stage. Later in the plant growth and development phase, we can see that at the cotyledons, these cotyledons have actually senesced and fallen off. We still have our unifoliates here, and we might start to see some branches starting to form on these plants. You can see here, this is a trifoliolate coming out of a uh, side node. But here, basically, we're trying to figure out what the growth stage is on this plant. So using the Pedersen method, again, I would say that these trifoliate leaves are unfurled enough to be counted. So this would be V1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This would be at the V5 growth stage. We're getting close to flowering, but we haven't seen any flowers yet. Compared that from a node counting standpoint, this would have in the Pedersen method, this would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 nodes. But in the fair and cavernous method, if you don't count this uppermost trifoliate node as one of the nodes, you would actually be at one, two, three, four, five. So again, this would be the V5 growth stage, but the position of the nodes might vary a little bit. So the soybean here is at the V5 growth stage. So looking at this, this would be our first trifoliate using the Pedersen method. One, two, three, four, five. This is our ending trifoliate. But what I wanted to point out with this plant is that not only are we seeing the trifoliates, but we're also seeing these branches start to form at the nodes. And so these branches sometimes will have trifoliate leaves attached to them, but those do not count towards the staging. Only the primary trifoliate coming out of the node counts towards the stage estimation of the plant. Node position doesn't matter so much when we're comparing the methods at this point in time, but when we get into the reproductive stages, when we're talking about flowering, R1 is a flower appearing at anywhere, any node on the plant. But the R2 growth stage, according to both staging methods, is an open flower on one of the top two nodes. So if you're using the Pedersen method, that would include this node and this node. But if you're using the Fair and Cavanus method for staging, it would actually be this node and this node. So you might actually arrive at the R2 growth stage a little bit sooner with the Fair and Cavanus method being that these nodes are a little bit older on the plant. 